today we get to take a little look at some new products from Crack and Trade, both pins and some cool pin bag slash accessories. Now, normally when I share pins that come out from a small shop, they are a type of fantasy pin, but these pins from Crack and Trade are actual official Disney licensed pins which that is pretty awesome and crazy if you think about it. So far they have released two pins, which are both LE600. They have a Coco themed one and then a Little Mermaid one. And I'll give a closer look at both of these. So first up is the Coco themed pin, which features Hector. I purchased this one right after I got back from my cruise to Mexico. I really love the movie Coco. I do now have a kind of sizable little side collection of Coco pins. And so it was really fun finally going down to Mexico and seeing plazas just like are in the movie. And we also watched Coco while on the boat. So I think this is really such a pretty pin and it's really awesome quality. It does come on like the lounge fly backer cards that Box Lunch uses. So I wonder if that might be part of how they got this licensed. But dun da da da, on the back it says copyright Disney slash Pixar. And then it also says that it is limited edition of 600. But this is just a really thick, awesome, high quality pin. Then the next pin is themed to Little Mermaid and it features Ariel and Flounder on it. This one again is really nice quality and it does also come on that same um, like lounge fly branded backer card. And then here you go, this one again has the official copyright Disney on it and it's very, very teeny tiny, but it does also say LE600. They very kindly sent me an extra set of both of these pins. So if anybody is looking or interested in these, I will have some extras for trade. I think these pins sell for around $16, which is pretty good considering that's less than the Ellie pins retail for in the parks, and these are Ellie 600s. They've done vague previews for some future designs that they're going to come out with, so I think that they're going to continue this line of actual official Disney licensed pins. Along with my order for the Coco pin, they very kindly sent along two of their new pin bags slash books to look at. So this first one here is called the Clam Shell, and it's basically like an Eda bag backpack. It has three separate zipper compartments and the first one here includes their circular board in which you put your pins on. So for now I'll just put the two LED pins on here. This is the same material as what they have in their pin books and this material has a very firm hold on it. You're not gonna worry about your pins going anywhere here. And then when you have your pins in there, you just slide this back in and then zipper it up. It's got a main central compartment here, which this is actually quite sizable and roomy. And then there's another zip back here. In mine, they included a second sheet of these, which I think you can add to your order for about $5. So you have another zippered compartment here and there's also a really nice pouch. And then that's not all of the compartments because on the back there is also a nice little zippered compartment and that's kind of size where it would easily fit a phone. And then on the back here it is embossed with the Crack and Trade logo. It comes with these two straps so you can attach it like a backpack but you can also attach it to be like a crossbody. So you could just unhook one of these and there's little hooks on the side. You can lengthen it and wear it like a crossbody. So I think this bag is so awesome. This is probably the highest quality eat a bag type item I've seen so far. I personally love the amount of organization in here. My video that I did on the lounge fly backpacks, which for some reason just like really took off, one of my biggest complaints was that there's on most of the bags no interior pockets. So a lot of time when I'm using it, I'm like trying to dig around and find my cell phone. Like it just doesn't have any internal organization. But this has all these extra zippered compartments, a little pouch inside. As long as I can fit a water bottle in here, which I think I should be able to because this middle compartment is pretty sizable, I think I would really want to try and use this as my park bag for Disneyland this summer. So previously I had used an Eda bag backpack for Disneyland like this one, which is also quite nice and high quality, but if you know who made this bag, um, you might understand why I don't really want to use it anymore. <clears throat> Enjoy your jail time, Madison. Anyways, I love the amount of pins that you can store on this. The Mickey head shape one was kind of nice for the Mickey head shape, but it kind of was a little restrictive in showing pins. But I just have these two pins on here and you can see how much more space would be filled up. The one thing that I would really like on this bag is just like a little bag hook or loop here. 
just, you know, like this kind of the basic type of thing that comes on backpacks, because I think that would be, you know, much easier to kind of quickly hang it up on something or like pick it up or grab it by. So that's kind of like the one functional feature I did wish it had, but I'm very excited to actually like fully test it out and use it. Currently, they do make this in black as well as in a purple color, and I believe they are about $40. And lastly, they sent along their newest generation of pin books, which are called the Meg. This one is in a super pretty teal color, but I do know that they also offer this in a few other different colors. Coincidentally, this actually kind of goes pretty nicely with my ensemble today. So this one nicely now has the embossed Crack and Trade logo on there. It has your main carrying strap, and then you can also have a place to hook on like an over the shoulder strap. Inside of here, it comes with three of these pages. And then it has these plastic dividers going between the pages. And then in the very back here, there's a little mesh compartment, which I think you could either put like pin backer cards in there or some Mickey pin backs. With this, I do wish there was maybe some element of like a little zippered pouch in here or something that could keep Mickey pin backs in. Just because with this, I do feel like they can kind of fall to the bottom. So what I want to do now is compare this Meg with the Shark Tank, which was their previous version, and the Pinfolio Pro Show from GoPin Pro. So here is a side-by-side -side of the newer version of the Meg and then the previous Shark Tank. Both are made out of the same material and are the same really awesome high quality. Previously, the holder strap was the same material um, that the over-the-shoulder strap was, but now the newer version has the same material that the rest of it is made of riveted down. So this is likely gonna have a much stronger, nicer hold on it. Kind of the main difference between these is that the Meg is kind of thicker in its size. So it's a bit better in holding the full amount of pins. Right now in the Shark Tank, I have two totally full front and back pages of pins because I find it's just a little tight having that third full page in there. But from the inside, most of everything is the same. It's the same type of pages. With, the, with what I have on the Shark Tank, I really like that it's these little zippered pouches because I can keep some extra things in there. Whereas this here, this is just a flat plastic. And so with the Meg, it's this first page in the pin book that's being displayed through the front clear pouch. And I believe the Meg retails for around $55. So then with the Meg and a Pinfolio Pro show from, from GoPin Pro, they are kind of this way wise about the same size since this is again the same size as the Shark Tank was. But the Pinfolio Pro show can fit more pins and is thicker because it has the front compartment in which you also display pins in addition to what's stored inside. So the Pinfolio Pro Show has these two handles here, so you can hold it normally, but this is also designed to be worn as a backpack. So it's basically a fusion of an Eda bag that's kind of exclusively for pins. On the inside, the Pinfolio does have a little zipper compartment there. As a page size comparison, the pages from Crack and Trade are a little bit smaller than the Pinfolio pages. So with the Pinfolio book, you might be able to fit like maybe one extra row of pins. And then the Minfolio has their standard embossed pages, whereas the Crack and Trade, all of their pages are just this flat, plain black. These pages are definitely firmer, so this is good if you want pins that are definitely not going to move around. But I think the Pinfolio material is a little bit more forgiving on pin posts, especially if you're taking your pins in and out of books a lot. Okay, so hopefully that's kind of helpful in seeing all of these different pin books side by side. So in the description, I will also link to all previous full pin book and accessory reviews I've done before so that you can see full versions of those. But I'd have to say the clamshell is one of my favorite new pin bags I've seen come out in a while. I really love the size of it, how high quality it is, and then also how much nice organization is worked into it. I know Crack and Trade is always working on putting out kind of newer versions and generations of their products. I know they have a pre-order for a new kind of crossbody bag in the works. Last I checked, I think a good number of their Meg pin books were sold out, but I'll put the links and information to the Crack and Trade website in the description if you're interested in checking out any of these pins or pin accessories. So hopefully you enjoyed this little pin and pin product review. But thanks for watching.